Hey friends, welcome back to Shawnee on the Spot. Well, it's time for the Wood Entertaining and Decorating Ideas Collaboration 2023. And once again, it is hosted by the beautifully blessed Gigi from Styling with Gigi Faison, the effervescent Wani from Wani's House, and of course, myself, Shawnee from Shawnee on the Spot. Now, have you ever seen dominoes with wood chips in them? Well, I'm going to show you how I made these. They were so easy and I am so glad by the way that they turned out. So here I have some domino molds and some actual wood. Yes, I went into my yard and got some wood chips, y'all, so that I can put them in my dominoes. So I'm showing you that I have mixed up some epoxy and I didn't show you how I did it, but I do it in another segment, so hold tight. In my epoxy, I did mix a little bit of mica powder and some glitter. Now, my mica powder, I wanna give an extra shout out to the Hippie Crafter. They reached out to me a little while back and sent me some goodies, which included this box of mica powder, 24 colors, and I love it. I've been doing some things with epoxy resin lately, and this has been such a beautiful gift. So I'm showing you that I'm pouring my first batch of epoxy resin into my domino molds. And I didn't use a whole lot of the mica powder. As you can see, it was just lightly tinted with the glitter. And so here I'm showing you that I've poured them in and I did put a little bit more glitter in because I want um, a particular effect that I'm hoping for as I'm doing this. So I did let the uh, resin cure for a couple of hours not fully yet because I did an experiment earlier and I didn't let the resin set for a while before I put my wood chips in it and it didn't turn out right. So this is my second attempt. And so I did it differently. I let the resin cure a little bit and then I began to place my wood chips into the mold. Now, when I filled up the mold, I didn't fill it all the way to the top. So if you're gonna try this, try not filling it all the way to the top before you place your wood chips in. And then once I put my wood chips in, um, in all of the domino uh, molds, then I began to try to pour again a different, um, my resin again. So this time I'm showing you how I actually mix the resin. So if those that are not familiar with it, it comes in two parts. You get your part A and your part B and you have to mix them together. Now I do want to mention when you're mixing resin, epoxy, epoxy resin, I should say, make sure you have plenty of ventilation. And also you don't see me, but I am wearing a mask. I have an N95 mask on and I want to stress that you want to have plenty of ventilation and put a mask on because even though you may not smell the epoxy, because some of them do come um, to where you can't smell it, it is affecting you. So please be cautious when using epoxy resin. So, and then you want to mix it for the time allotted. And that's usually about two to three minutes so that it's well mixed. So in this batch, I did not put any mica powder. I only used glitter and the glitter that I'm using, I got it from the Dollar Tree and it's pretty much fine glitter. And of course I used gold and you wanna mix it again and mix it pretty good and then begin to pour. And so as I'm pouring again, I'm being careful to be sure to cover the wood chips. And so I'm gonna put and fill the rest of the mold to the, to the brim this time, because I want the um, dominoes to all be uniform. So I'm being careful to be sure to fill the uh, molds to the top this time. So I've been experimenting with epoxy resin a little bit, making all kinds of cool, fun things like coasters and trays and just trying different things. And so the domino mold was something that I came up with uh, to try several months ago. I did some gifts for Father's Day and they turned out really good. 
But this idea came to me as I was just minding my little business and thinking of what to do for this collaboration. So the wood in the dominoes was a unique idea that I kind of came up with in my mind. I haven't seen them out yet, but hey, you never know. So here I'm showing you that I did put the wood chips in and I let them cure. So it's the next day. So that's another thing with epoxy resin. You do want it to cure overnight, 24 hours if possible. And so here I'm popping them out and because they were all the way dry, they pop right out. I didn't have to struggle with them. They did come out. Now there's some of them did have a little bit of overflow because the edges, but I'll show you what I did to rectify that but they came out so cute. But hang in there, cause I'm not done. Even though you see me popping them out the mold, they're not done yet. And so here I've popped them all out of the molds and they look pretty uniform. And the, uh, the little sand block that I'm using, I got that also from the Dollar Tree. It's not a heavy sandpaper, it's kind of light, but it does help to get and smooth the edges on the dominoes and to take off any of the excess resin that may have overflowed and been on there still. So I was able to clean them all up pretty good. And I'm just showing you here that the edges um, kind of came out pretty good. So my next step is to color in all the dots and I use a metallic paint pen that I got from Amazon. I have some different colors and happen to have a gold one in there and it would made it super easy. Now you also can use a fine paint brush with your paint to do it but I tell you getting the paint pen made it so much easier to fill in the domino um, holes there to show you the numbers. And then also that stripe that's in the middle also can fill that in with your pen. Now again these dominoes came out so good i am so proud of the effort that i put into this idea i um was kind of stunned at how brilliant they look the camera is not giving them that much justice i'm telling you they are sparkly they're shiny and here you can see where because i allowed the first layer to kind of rest how the wood looked like it was floating <laughs> inside of the epoxy resin. So these came out really, really cute. Tell me what you think in the comments. And yes, they were smooth to the touch, yes. So here's my little styling here because my idea is entertaining. And this is where me and my sweetie, we are gonna come and I'm gonna show this man how to play dominoes. Can you believe that there's a man out there that has never played dominoes. Well, my fiance told me that he wasn't allowed to play dominoes growing up. And so I didn't understand that, but I kind of do. But I said, well, I think it's okay. Let me show you how to play dominoes. And we love getting together for game night and having snacks and having great conversations. So that's the goal. And that's what I'm showing you here. A special shout out to Ms. Gigi Faison. Thanks so much for that Kachuri board. It's been about two or three Christmases ago that you sent that to me. I just want you to know it's been such a blessing and I'm so glad to use it in this design. Again, friends, thanks so much for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And remember, be kind to yourself.